In this video, we are going to install Jenkins Build Server and do initial configuration of Jenkins. To install Jenkins, simply double click the Jenkins Windows installer and install it to cd colon backslash Jenkins. After clicking finish, a browser should open and you should be directed to the Jenkins set initial administrator password page. When you first install Jenkins, it asks you to enter the initial administrator password, which is stored in this file. And so I'm going to copy the path and open it in Notepad. And copy this password and paste it into the administrator password box and then click Continue. And now Jenkins asks you which plugins you want to install. So we're going to choose the select plugins to install and we're going to add the MS Build plugin. Then click Install. Now this will take several minutes. After the plugins have been successfully installed, Jenkins asks you to create the first admin user. So I'm going to call it Jenkins Admin and give it a strong password. And full name and email address doesn't matter for this tutorial, so enter anything you want here. Then click Save and Finish then click Start Using Jenkins. And if you see this page, then Jenkins initial configuration is successful. Before we proceed, we need to do some firewall configuration and configuration of the Jenkins Windows service. So let's tackle the firewall configuration first. So I'm going to open Windows Firewall with Advanced Security and go to inbound rules and notice this Jenkins rule here. This Jenkins rule allows java.exe uh, to communicate and be communicated with. We're going to remove this rule. And then we're going to add a new inbound rule to allow traffic on HTTP port 8080, which is the default Jenkins port. I'm going to name the rule allow Jenkins. And a rule has been created, so we can close the firewall editor. Now let's set the Jenkins Windows Service startup account to the local administrator to make things easier on us. I'm going to go to the services MMC and scroll down until I find Jenkins, right-click the service and go to Properties, and then set the account to the local administrator, and then enter the password, confirm the password, and let's restart the Jenkins service. And go back to our Jenkins web UI, log out for good merit measure, and log back in with our Jenkins admin account that we created earlier. And now we're ready to configure the MS Build plugin 
and hook up Jenkins to our Bitbucket repository.